Hi, Maduri here. Today I'd like to share with you three of the most important things that you can do for your health and well-being. In Ayurveda we talk about the Dinacharya or the daily routine and the understanding here is that all of the tiny little habits and things that we're doing day to day have a really huge influence and impact on our health, well-being and happiness. So some things that we choose to do every single day are going to benefit and be healthy for us, whether that's our exercise or getting to bed on time. On the other hand, some of us choose things that aren't going to be supporting us, so whether that's our morning coffee to get us up and going first thing in the morning, or other habits that you know aren't good for you, such as overeating, staying up too late. All of these things, if we're doing them more often than not, are going to have an impact on our health. So I'm going to share with you three things that you can incorporate into your life quickly, easily, and effortlessly. Three things that anybody can do, whether you're following an Ayurvedic lifestyle or not. The very first thing that you can do as soon as you wake up in the morning, as soon as you become conscious that you're awake and it's a new day, is to set an intention. Setting an intention for your day essentially sends you off in the trajectory of the day uh, that you're going to have. So if you wake up in the morning and think, oh, another day, my alarm's going off, I don't want to get out of bed, then most likely that's the kind of day you're going to have, one of resistance, one of struggle. However, if you wake up and first thing in the morning, even if you have to practice this for a while and have a positive intention, whether that is I'm going to be very happy today, I'm going to be peaceful today, over time this begins to sink in and we live that day, we have that kind of day. So the number one thing that you can do to begin to help your health and well-being is to set a clear intention for your day. Where the mind goes, energy flows, and we want to begin to cultivate a really positive pathway of our thoughts and thinking. The second thing that you can do as soon as you get up out of bed is go to the bathroom and scrape your tongue. Here I have a little tongue scraper. It's just a piece of metal. You can get these at the health food store. If you don't have one, you can use the back of a spoon for now. Take the tongue scraper before you've had anything to drink and go and scrape it down your tongue a few times, just gently. And you'll notice that there's likely a coating on your tongue. And in Ayurveda, we call this ama or toxins that have come up uh, in the evening time while you were sleeping. All of the undigested food particles will come up and rest themselves on your tongue and it's important that we clear this off in the morning so we don't just go and swallow that back down. It will also get you more uh, in touch with what's going on within your organs and you'll notice how your digestion is by the level of ama, the level of toxins that are on your tongue. You may even notice slight like, color tinge of a, a yellow or green uh, to the frothiness or that coating on your tongue. So check it out. Look at your tongue every morning. Scrape your tongue. After you've done that, the third thing that you'll want to do every single morning is go to the kitchen and have a glass of warm water. Not hot, not cold. We never want to have icy cold water into the system as it puts out our agni or our digestive fire. But have a glass of warm water first thing in the morning. This will flush the kidneys out. This will prepare the body uh, for the day. It will be a great detoxifier for you and a really good habit to get into first thing in the morning. So I hope these three simple, easy tips from the Ayurvedic Dinacharya will be of use to you for your life. Thank you very much. Namaste.